Fighter aircraft are very often transported between continents, surprisingly not by air, but by ship. In this case, as you can see, it is a Gripen E fighter that is transported between Sweden and Brazil. After the transport, the Gripen must be thoroughly inspected and there will also be a test flight. However, the test flight also took place in Sweden itself. Located within the Saab manufacturing facility, the final assembly area for the JS-39E Gripen is a bustling hub of activity. The assembly line starts with the arrival of the Gripen's major sections, including the fuselage, wings and various sub-assemblies. In a carefully choreographed sequence, the Gripen's fuselage takes center stage. Suspended from overhead cranes, the fuselage is delicately lowered onto a specialized assembly platform. Here, technicians begin the meticulous process of integrating the aircraft's internal systems and avionics. As the assembly progresses, the wings and tail sections are expertly aligned and attached to the fuselage. Simultaneously, the Gripen's landing gear and other key components are integrated. Technicians meticulously install these crucial elements, ensuring they are securely fitted and function flawlessly. Following the installation of avionics and other mission systems, the Gripen undergoes a series of comprehensive tests and inspections. The final assembly culminates with the application of the Gripen's signature paint scheme. Now enjoy the Saab Gripen E39 engine after the Welcome to the Dassault Rafale Sea Factory Tour. Step inside and let me guide you through this factory. The Rafale Sea is a multi-role fighter aircraft. It is one of the variants of the Rafale aircraft series, which also includes the Rafale B, twin-seat version, and the Rafale M naval variant. This fighter jet is primarily designed for the French Air Force and operates from land-based airfields. It is a fourth-generation fighter jet that incorporates advanced avionics, a fly-by-wire flight control system, and a wide range of weapons and sensors. The aircraft is capable of performing various missions, including air superiority, ground attack, reconnaissance, and nuclear deterrence, the Rafale C is powered by two engines and features a delta wing design, giving it high maneuverability and agility. It can carry a combination of air-to-air -air missiles, air-to-ground weapons, and precision-guided munitions. The aircraft also has advanced radar systems, electronic warfare capabilities, and a sophisticated data link system for communication and information sharing upon entering the factory, you are greeted by a vast production floor buzzing with activity. The air is filled with the hum of machinery, the clattering of tools, and the focused conversations of engineers and technicians. Safety precautions are in place, and you are provided with a protective gear kit, including a safety vest and goggles. Our tour begins at the assembly line where the various components of the Raphael C are meticulously put together. Giant robotic arms maneuver with precision, expertly fitting the aircraft's fuselage, wings, and tail sections. Skilled technicians work alongside the machines, ensuring that every detail is perfect. Moving further down the production line, we reach the area where the aircraft's advanced avionics and electrical systems are integrated. Right now, you can see the radar assembly. Fighter jets use radar to locate and intercept other aircraft. The radar has two modes of operation, search mode and targeting mode. Now, let's see what the afterburner of the engine looks like. 
Before painting, the aircraft's surface needs to be thoroughly cleaned and prepared. This involves removing any dirt, grease, or contaminants that may interfere with the adhesion of the paint. The surface may be washed, sanded, and sometimes chemically treated to ensure a clean and smooth substrate. After surface preparation, a primer coat is applied. The primer serves as a bonding agent between the aircraft's surface and the subsequent layers of paint. It helps improve adhesion, provides corrosion resistance, and promotes uniform color application. The base coat is the main layer of paint that determines the aircraft's color scheme. It is typically applied using spray guns or specialized painting equipment. Multiple coats may be necessary to achieve the desired color intensity and coverage. The base coat usually consists of a combination of pigments, binders, and atoms. This stage showcases the cutting-edge technology that powers the Rafale C engineers carefully install flight control computers, communication systems, radar equipment, and other vital components, ensuring the aircraft's state-of-the-art capabilities. As we progress, we arrive at the painting hangar, where the Rafale C receives its distinctive livery. Skilled painters meticulously apply the paint, carefully matching the chosen color scheme and ensuring a smooth and flawless finish. The vibrant hues and intricate patterns bring the aircraft to life. Adding to its visual appeal, our next stop takes us to the quality control department. Here, rigorous inspections and tests are conducted to ensure that every Rafale C meets the highest standards of safety and performance. Engineers meticulously examine each aircraft, checking for any irregularities, conducting functionality tests, and verifying compliance with strict specifications. As our tour nears its end, we enter the final assembly area. Here, the Rafale C is prepared for its main flight. The engines are installed, fuel systems are tested, and final adjustments are made. The excitement in the air is palpable as the aircraft is prepared to spread its wings and take to the skies. Although our tour ends here, the journey of the Rafale C continues as it goes through rigorous flight testing, certification, and eventually joins the ranks of operational squadrons to fulfill its mission as a formidable fighter jet. The day has arrived for the delivery of the highly anticipated Dassault Rafale C fighter jet to its esteemed customer. The atmosphere at the Dassault Aviation Facility is filled with excitement and pride as the final preparations are made to hand over this magnificent aircraft. Before the green paint is applied, the aircraft's surface undergoes thorough cleaning and preparation. The primer serves as a bonding agent between the aircraft's surface and the subsequent layers of paint. It helps improve adhesion, provides corrosion resistance, and promotes uniform color application. Once the primer has dried, the green paint is applied. The exact shade of green may vary depending on the specific requirements of the customer or military branch. Once the green paint and any additional markings are in place, a clear protective coat is often applied. This clear coat enhances the aircraft's appearance and provides additional protection against environmental factors, such as UV radiation and abrasion. How do powerful Rolls-Royce aircraft engines work? Let's take a look at how designing and developing high-technology engines is done. These engines are used for applications on land, at sea, and in the air. The main advantage of Rolls-Royce is built on two key technology platforms, the gas turbine and the piston engine. So how do they work? In the case of the gas turbine on an airliner, air is sucked in via the large front fan. The majority of the air is directed around the engine as pure thrust. The rest enters the engine and is squeezed through compressors consisting of a series of blades. Pressure increases at each stage as the air is squeezed. In the combustion chamber, the air is mixed with fuel and ignited. The hot air explosion is directed towards the back of the engine, generating more thrust and rotating the turbines, which in turn are linked to the front fan and compressors. This is the basic principle of gas turbine operation. 
A piston engine also operates by air being compressed and mixed with fuel. Air is drawn inside a cylinder, then compressed by a piston and mixed with either diesel or liquefied gas. As the mixture ignites, the energy created pushes the piston to the bottom of the cylinder. The piston then returns to the top in a continuous process. Rods connected to a crankshaft convert the vertical movement of the pistons into a rotating motion. As a result, the piston engine can power a wide range of applications, electrical generators, ships, vehicles, and railway locomotives. Efficient power on land, at sea, and in the air. The manufacturing process of the Trent XWB engine involves several intricate steps, cutting-edge technology, and rigorous quality control. The manufacturing process begins with extensive research, design, and planning. Rolls-Royce engineers work on computer-aided design systems to design the engine components and optimize their performance, efficiency, and durability. High-quality materials are crucial for the engine's performance and reliability. Rolls-Royce uses advanced materials such as lightweight alloys, composites, and ceramic matrix composites to enhance the engine's efficiency and reduce its weight. Once the design is finalized, the engine components are manufactured through casting and forging processes. These processes involve shaping and solidifying molten metals into the desired forms using precision molds and dyes. After casting and forging, the engine parts undergo various machining processes including milling, grinding, and drilling. This ensures that the components meet precise dimensional requirements and fit together accurately during assembly. The assembly of the Trent XWB engine is a highly complex and meticulous process. Skilled technicians carefully fit and secure each component in its designated position. This includes installing the fan, compressors, combustion chambers, turbines, and other systems. Before an engine leaves the manufacturing facility, it undergoes rigorous testing to ensure its safety and performance. This includes individual component tests, subassembly tests, and finally, a full-scale engine test known as the hot test. During the hot test, the engine is run at different power settings to verify its performance and identify any potential issues. After successful testing, the engine undergoes certification by aviation authorities to ensure it meets all safety and regulatory requirements. Once in service, Rolls-Royce provides ongoing support and maintenance for the Trent XWB engine to ensure its reliability and efficiency throughout its operational life. The Rolls-Royce Trent 1000 engine one of two engines for the Boeing 787 jetliner costs about $20 million at list price. It's essential to note that the manufacturing process of a jet engine like the Trent XWB is continually evolving as new technologies and manufacturing methods are developed.